Hello and welcome to this session about the Document Information Extraction Service in SAP Business One. So with Feature Pack 2102, SAP introduced the Documentation Information Extraction Service from the SAP Business Technology Platform to be leveraged by SAP Business One. To get started, um, I will show you now how to set this all up with the trial account of the business technology platform. So therefore, first, um, we will go to the system landscape directory of your business one environment, and we will go to the services tab. And in here, first, we need to go to the, electro to the electronic document service. And we need to log in with the B1 uh, site user and we need to select the company database and we need to activate the doc service for this database okay so we will do this so now the service is activated the docs is the abbreviation for the doc document information extraction service um, this is the first mandatory step. As a second step, what we will need to do is we will need to go ahead in the SAP BGB trial or productive environment. Uh, if you don't have yet an account, you can easily uh, register a free trial account or if you exist, have an existing trial account, you can just go ahead. Okay, so we will then enter the trial account and we will go to the trial uh, sub account and then go ahead to the service marketplace and then we will search for the document information extraction service just type document there are actually two services available please choose the one without the ui so this one and then we will go ahead and click on create uh, we will select here default and as a name we will choose something like b1 demo Let's say next and we will now continue and click create so now there's a new section called instances and subscriptions so we will either go to the section or directly to the instance now from here what we can see is on the right that there are zero service keys so we will go ahead and create a service key the name can be just like demo key and we will go ahead and create this key. And if we click on that one, we will see some information either in JSON format or in the form format. And we will go ahead with business one and see what we need to extract from here. So in business one, um, if you go to the modules and to administration, system in it and then from here to the document settings you can then see a new tab for the document information extraction service so we need to enable this we need to provide now a so-called uaa url so where to get this from so before now trying to to identify the right uh, piece of the key here we have a SCP node um, let me just put this on the right side and then business one on the left and uh, so <clears throat> the notes 3021904 is about the document information extraction service and how to um, implement it so if we go down a bit, you can then find some screenshot to help you. So for the UAAA URL, we need to copy the URL below the client secret. Okay, so this one. 
will just copy it and I will now put this in business one in this section. PDF folder for extraction. Um, so this one I will skip to the end. So next one is client secret. So we can just copy it from the client secret uh, part. Always the complete string between the quotes. Client ID. So the client, uh, the client ID is here on top of the client secret. Okay, this is a long one. And now the service URL I get from the top of the JSON file. Okay, so now only uh, two things are missing, the PDF folder for extraction and the Windows path. So on the right, you can see there's just one uh, PDF folder for extraction. This is the SQL version for the HANA version. You need uh, to define uh, an extraction path for the PDFs in Windows and Linux. So we will start with the Windows one. So the easiest one is if we go to the to the HANA server and go to the B1 share folder and create a new folder in here so we can call it for example pdf and uh, if we now copy this path of the hana server in linux to share we can now paste this here and then we need also to provide the same path physical path from a linux perspective so from a Linux perspective, depending when you installed uh, Business One on HANA, typically it's in the uh, user SAP, SAP Business One, and then B1 underscore SHF location. So we will just uh, now copy this path also to reflect the Linux part of this folder and paste this here. So these are both identical and this is also a requirement so that the Windows location will point to a shared folder from Linux. So it must be actually the same. Okay, so now this is done. So we can go ahead and click update. So uh, when you make changes to the configuration of the documentation information extraction in Business One, you need to reload uh, the electronic document service. So the easiest way to do this is either to restart the HANA server or to just run this command system CTL restart SAP B1 EDF backend. And if you run this command, the electronic document uh, framework will be reloaded and this is sufficient and if we go now to the system init again and then to the general settings in the path tab we need to ensure that the attachments folder is existing so we will pick for this case folder on on this machine so let me just use here um, the business one attachments folder within the client and say update. Okay. So now we can go ahead and copy the PDFs here in this defined PDF folder. So we'll, I have two PDFs here, which I will now um, copy to the defined PDF folder. And now we just need to wait a few seconds. You can see that a folder uh, processed has been created and um, the files will then be moved in inside this folder if they are processed. So you can look here and you can see now that they are processed. So in business one now, 
after let's say a few seconds we need to give a few seconds time to um, analyze now the documents we can now go to the purchasing ap part and then here to the purchasing reports and open the document draft report form and as we want to look into purchase invoices we will now deselect the the other parts for for the report and before we run the report there's a new feature here docs import for the document information extraction import so we will click here and you can see that two draft ap invoices were created so if you now click ok we can now see the two invoices and if we just now open the draft document we get, can then see 100 quantity 24 euro and if we take a look at the uh, attachment section you can see that the invoice has been attached so if we display it and if we now compare this um, with uh, business one let me just go back here you can see that this is the same uh, amount here with the same tax quantity and also the same item and also the same uh, vendor OEC Computers Deutschland yeah so this worked pretty good and also for the other invoice it's uh, similar here we use the different uh, layout for the document information extraction um, but the results uh, also work in the same way just a different window here it's OEC computers Germany has been recognized um, the service uh, document the document information extraction service is looking for the vendor name and the item description and could match it and create this AP invoice draft so this concludes the demonstration thank you for watching and goodbye